Hi, my name is Josiah and today I've teamed up with Licked to show you guys how to improve the audio quality in your videos when editing an iMovie. Now the first thing you should understand about getting good quality audio is that most of the work happens when you capture it, not in the editing stage. And no amount of editing will fix bad audio. However, if you've recorded good audio, there are a few tips and tricks you can do inside of iMovie to bring it to the next level. But before we cover that, how do we go about capturing good audio in the first place? Well, the number one thing that will increase your audio quality is moving the mic as close to the source as possible. I have my microphone mounted on a boom pole right outside of frame. And depending on the style of content you shoot, it may be perfectly acceptable to have the microphone in frame, say in a talk show or on a podcast or something of that nature. And if that's the case, I highly recommend it because this will ensure you get the best audio quality possible from your microphone. Now, if you don't have a separate microphone to record your audio with, just pull out your phone, start a voice memo, and set it on the table next to you. Because recording audio with your phone right next to you is gonna be so much better than just using the built-in microphone of your camera. Now, if you're recording audio separately, like with your phone, you'll need to make sure you can sync that audio up with the video. And thankfully, iMovie makes this really simple. So once you're inside of iMovie, go ahead and just drag the audio you recorded from your phone right underneath the video. Now all you have to do is compare the waveform of your audio clip to the waveform of your video and line them up. So here I can see that these two spikes should be right next to each other, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this and basically move this over until it aligns. Make sure you're zoomed in as much as possible and it may be useful to use the playhead as a reference when you're lining up the waveforms. Once it's lined up, you can go ahead and mute the audio of your video and now you have the audio of your iPhone synced up perfectly with your video. And before I tell you my last tip for getting good audio when editing inside of iMovie, let me take a quick moment and tell you about Licked. Licked is an online service that allows you to license chart music to use in your videos. They have a huge selection of music to choose from ranging over a variety of genres and Licked gets their music from real artists. So none of the songs sound like they came from some generic stock audio library. So be sure to follow the link in the video description to get your first song at a discounted rate. Now my final tip for getting good audio inside of iMovie is using iMovie's built-in equalizer presets. These are kind of like filters but for audio instead of video. And you can use them to enhance the quality of your audio. So with your clip selected, go ahead and click the waveform logo on your toolbar. And that will reveal two options, reduce background noise and equalizer. Now. Before I even move on to Equalizer, let me just say first off, I highly recommend you don't ever use the reduced background noise. Even at low percentages, it just destroys the sound of your audio, so I would recommend staying away from that. However, this Equalizer tool is actually very useful. If you click on the drop down menu, you can see they have a bunch of different presets you can apply to your audio. Now, which one of these presets you should choose highly depends on what your audio sounds like in the first place, so you'll have to do a little bit of experimenting to see which one sounds best. My personal favorite is the loudness filter, as it sounds best with my particular microphone. However, I'd also recommend the bass boost filter if your voice is sounding a little thin or you want to go for that nice, warm podcast or radio talk sound. And those are my tips for improving your audio quality inside of iMovie. Don't forget to check out Licked in the video description if you need music for your videos. And be sure to subscribe to Licked Tutorials. They have a lot more content like this coming in the future. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.